It could change the way we travel and send cargo all over the world. Well, now Colorado is at the forefront of the Hyperloop project. The front range has been chosen as one of 10 final routes by the company Hyperloop One. Jeff Todd has been covering the Hyperloop for us for a few months now and joins us live from Union Station. Jeff, tell us what exactly is this technology? Britt, it is high tech and high speed. Think of it just like one of these vehicles on a track, except it's going to be inside a vacuum tube. And the theory has it going about 10 times faster than one of these trains. Today, the route from Cheyenne to Pueblo was picked as a finalist for a major company looking to bring this theory into reality. This could be a travel time from DIA to Greeley in about six minutes. Also today, CDOT entered into a public-private partnership to, to study just how feasible this could be. Hyperloop One was tested out in a concept in a quarter-mile track near Las Vegas. The pod raises up with magnetic levitation, and the tube has all the air sucked out of it to lessen the drag and allow the vehicle to reach speeds near 700 miles per hour in theory, and that's the crux here is the technology. So far, the Hyperloop test has only reached 70 miles per hour, and while work is being done to make that technology a reality, CDOT is now spending up to a million dollars to see how good a fit it could be right here. You know, what we want to look at is what is feasible, um, what is constructible, uh, where can we get access to land, and that's what we'll start. And again, we're talking about a study that probably leads to a segment of a much bigger network. Next, Denver Airport on track. Shailen Bad told us that this is about step two in a process that's going to be hundreds of steps. But coming up tonight at 10, we're going to tell you why Colorado is a pretty good fit and just how realistic all of this is. For now, we're live in Denver. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first. Jeff, thanks.